The inner ear has two systems, the vestibular mechanism, which is responsible for balance, and the cochlea. They have nothing to do with each other, um, but they do share fluid. So the human's ability to maintain balance depends on information from three systems controlled in the brain, the visual system, which provides direct information about the surroundings, the proprioceptive system, which helps you feel where you are in your surroundings, so your structures, your muscles, your bones, and your vestibular system, which is, again, one of these uh, close to the cochlea, but not associated with hearing. The vestibular system relies on the forces of gravity and inertia, and the fluid moves around in the vestibular system and helps you feel grounded or where you are in space. So there are three semicircular canals, the superior, lateral, and posterior canals. And the canals are arranged perpendicularly. You see in this picture are the three semicircular canals. They share the same fluid as the cochlea, but they're separate. The vestibular system has nothing to do with hearing, and the cochlea has nothing to do with balance. When the vestibular system becomes damaged or diseased, you might experience a sensation of whirling and spinning. And it's because the connection to the brain between the vestibular portion of the auditory nerve and the oculomotor nerve is disrupted. And there's this rapid rocking in the eyes called nystagmus. So in a nutshell, a basic, a basic description of what there is is your three semicircular canal have these crystals. And the crystals are in their place as you move your head, the crystals move. If you go and you spin around and around and around, your crystals will sort of like fall out of place, but then once you get your bearings and you settle down, they go back into place and your dizziness is gone. Now sometimes people could get vertigo, in which case their, their crystals are pretty out of whack and they feel this spinning constantly and you get this rapid rocking movement called nystagmus. There's a test that audiologists do to check for people that might have Meniere's disease which is associated with vertigo. And it's a caloric test where you stimulate the, um, the semicircular canals and you measure the response, whether it's normal, active, hyperactive, or hypoactive. It's called an ENG test. If you go ahead and study audiology, you can learn much more about this. You can take a whole course on it. Separate from the vestibular system is the organ of cordy, your your organ of hearing in the cochlea. It has the basilar membrane, which lies along the organ of cordy. It's narrow at the base and wider at the apex. There are three to five parallel rows of 12,000 to 15,000 outer hair cells, one row of 3,000 inner hair cells, and an auditory nerve that connects these hair cells up to the brain. And we'll go through this in the next part.